Hi, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to touch on farming reputation or reputation farming. How I want to call it, but it has got to do with reputation. Okay, now uh, as we start, let's get Sally repaired. Okay, ask for help, speed up. Bam. Okay, and choose a map that uh, I want to show you or elaborate this video with uh, yeah maybe I choose this okay set cost bam okay now uh, before we start three things okay I number one I live in a neighborhood that has a lot of dogs okay almost every house has a dog and if you do hear dogs barking making funny noises please bear with me okay I do not have control of them I do not have a dog and they just do their thing when it is time okay so number two uh, it was about to rain yeah I mean when before I started recording this video, it sounded like it's going to rain, you know, the thunder, lightning, the cutting. Now, if you hear thunder in the background, do bear with me as well. Okay, number three, I have started making these videos. This is my third video that I'm making, and someone made a remark saying that I am trying to make money out of these. You know, by making videos, I'm trying to make money. Okay, um. Sometimes you have people like that, you know, around which actually, you know, spoils the whole good work of things, that kind of thing. Uh, I believe you would be able to tell that my channel is new and I do not have the subscribers. And yeah, if you have not subscribed already, please hit on the subscribe button right now because I promise you I'm going to give you good content value. And I definitely do not have enough videos to push the amount of watch hours needed to monetize this channel so I have none of that now but to think of it this way what is wrong if someone were to make you know gaming videos to make money I mean this guy or this girl who have like spent hours in game trying to figure things out learn things discover things concise it in the video and give it to you as value and but then instead of saying thank you you know Sing a word of thanks to him or her. There you go, criticize his or her intention. Okay? But just to make it very clear to you, to all of you, I started this hoping and wanting to help my Alliance members because I am like, if I'm not the biggest person on, biggest person in terms of power on the server, I will be the second. And I'm at a very comfortable position right now to have seen most of the things that are available in game. And I'd like to share with those who are just about to start, you know, who didn't have prior experience to SDFC for the matter. Okay, I wanted to do that. But think of it this way as well. I spent many hours in game trying to figure things out and experience things and discovering ways how to refine my methods or my approach towards certain features of the game and I'm sharing with you for free for free because you are paying nothing to watch this video right okay hopefully that you improve your quality of life as well I mean time save for you in game it will save your time in real life as well right you can do much more in real life rather than get stuck in front of your mobile phone or the computer screen okay so yeah unless you did so decide to sponsor me I mean buy me packs or give me money I mean and perhaps I could test out new things and to feature them in the upcoming videos if not this one okay so you can do that if you are interested you want to bless me in that way to let me know I am accepting it as well okay so yeah today we're going to talk about reputation farming where do you find reputation reputation as you go up uh, as you increase in your levels if as you you know build up your ops level to a higher level you'll find them here factions okay now reputation is very important because 
as you gain more reputation, you will unlock more items from the store. Okay, you will note that okay now I'm at associate, but when I reach respected, I'll be able to unlock these fella okay the enterprise so this is my goal okay and i should be able to unlock it at 10 million reputation okay so for those of you who do not know this okay 10 million reputation is the cap okay so once you reach 10 million it doesn't decrease it doesn't increase and it stays as that okay so if you work on one reputation as well you will have a plus one that means someone else will come and jump into the bandwagon and get the benefit as well and in my case because I've been hammering on Klingon Romulan jump into the bandwagon but if you are pro federation and you are hitting on Romulans Klingon should jump on the bandwagon as well there's no deciding whether you, you want Ockman or Rogue to jump in because they are both important and in my previous videos you know why and in future when you play more you also know why okay now with more reputation basically what you be able to access to would be more packs okay this will help you to build up your uh, offices as well and this will give you for example this Klingon message message exchange will give you more Federation credits or it will help you unlock certain ships okay now not all ships are useful okay so don't waste your uh, credits on them okay they'll be in a separate video altogether but for reputation farming the motivation is very clear you are there you're doing what you're doing basically primarily to farm reputation okay now one thing you also need to know is this that uh, when you enter an enemy space because I've been having a Klingon right so I've become I've, I've became the enemy of the state or <laughs> of the tribe okay so Klingon still like me so whenever I enter a new system uh, there'll be a ship that will come after me okay there'll be a hostile okay so basically you cannot stay put at that particular area for that long of time and you need to keep moving okay now how else do you gain reputation or can you farm reputation okay you get reputation by killing hostiles okay that's the i i, I believe that's the main way or primary way of how you would do it okay F uh taking for example okay just click on this survey ship okay click on rewards okay you see that if you were to kill this survey ship it will give you a8 federation 404 romulan and a negative 3.3k klingon points okay now uh just as i said uh 10m you kept at 10m surplus plus positive but uh when it comes to negative there is only a maximum of 2m okay so you'll be kept at 2m and it will not go down further or else it'll be like no return okay so yeah this is it 10m 2m and basically for your fashion store unlocks items now you should also notice that if you're farming reputation you should not be too bothered about the loots okay as in the blueprints the drops the other stuff other than the reputation that whatever ships are giving you okay so that doesn't really matter now you should also know that different ships they give different reputation okay different types of ships give you different amount of reputation and if you are on a level 30 plus map and you see somehow a ship like this 36 and has to be an interceptor moving much faster than even your hostile this ship you need to pay attention to because if you were to click it you tell you click on scout you have a star there this is basically a mini boss and if you were to click on rewards you do not see anything much but let me show you what it will give you okay now if you look at my loots i have nothing unopened so let's kill this fella level 36 don't care about reputation yet uh, because i'm not trying to prove that to you but i'm trying to tell you to look out for this kind of interceptors that move super duper fast whenever you enter a level 36 map good so one so that interceptor that scout drop an item 
Now, if you click on items, if you open this, okay, it will show you, ta-da, click on message. And what do you do with this? Click on messages, you go to your fashion store, fashion store, and since a federation, federation, okay, go under federation, you scroll down, and you'll be able to see this. Klingon message exchange, okay, basically number of Klingon messages that you have, okay, I farm that much, okay, you'll be able to exchange them for Federation credits, okay, because there are only that limited amount of ways whereby you can gain, you know, or you can gain free Federation credits, okay, so yeah, I gotta use this. Now, what are the other ways that you can gain, you know, Federation uh, reputations okay federation reputation or reputation in general okay you can gain them from your quest okay especially your dailies okay now i've done most of them okay but there will be some whereby they'll tell you to mine a certain amount of materials and if you were able to complete it you'll be rewarded with reputation as well or even to kill a certain amount of ships okay and that will give you reputation as well now as you progress on in level okay as you as your up level increases you will be also unlocking uh faction based quests or missions that will award you with reputations as well for example this one will give you a hundred k and then some credits as well okay so there are quests like that okay and it just it, it, and it is across all the three main factions, okay, your feet of Federation, Roman and Klingon, okay. And if you look at archive, I have some here, I've some done with, I've not collected so that I will not waste them. Okay, for example, this one, ready to collect, and I'll be rewarded with 2,000 Klingon points, okay, if I will collect it. So different factions, they do have different mis missions or quests as such, okay. Good, okay. Now, on this frame, you will notice that there are two surveys here, 135, 137. Now, normally what you do is, or at assumption, general assumption, the harder the mob you kill, the more points you get, which is true, okay. And you can also easily assume that the harder, because I do not know whether this is implemented on SDFC or not, the harder the mob that you hit, the rarer the loot that you are getting. But since we are not chasing after the drops, we are only after the points, so that doesn't really matter much to me, okay? If you look at the how shield, full shield, how dented a bit, now if you look at this level 37 survey, the points it's going to give you is 888, this is what uh, we are targeting or aiming for. Compared to a level 35, where's the level 35? 35 is here, and this only gives you 580. Now, what difference does it make or how would it benefit me to hit a lower target survey compared to a higher target? Now, I can hit one of these, okay? I can hit one of these and I will not die. But it will leave me with an impact whereby it will determine how long I get to stay out of the base. And if you look, my shield got dented and it is now regenerating. Now, I do not like waiting for my shield to regenerate before I go on to the next target. And I also do not like that, you know, there's such a big dent being done to my shield, even for 888 reputation. But what I could have done is, I could have just farmed or just chose to hit, you know, a lower level hostile, which would deal lesser damage to me and which also means that I get to stay longer outside of the base or station. Now, just look at that. Just a small dent and this, I don't think it moved much. It moved a little bit, but not much. But I still get 580. Now, killing two level 35s in a long run should make me last longer outside of base compared to killing 37s alone. You get what I'm saying? And... The best part is I do not need to wait that long for my shields to recharge and I can actually uh, target my next target. Okay, so there are many to sevens here because they are there. I just hit them right now. Now, uh, my Latina miner is done. So I just press 4. I just press R. You see, I've 
key map are here so you send my default back to base now so what I'm trying to say is that if you are farming points it is not necessary for you to hit targets which are on par to your level uh, one way of telling that is whether they are very hard whether they are normal whether they are very easy okay wrong ship selected sorry so back to sally on a 37 it says normal but it hurts okay you see how much how health it has like you know taken away from me okay now uh i'm not sure whether i say this just now because i've been talking don't stop okay you should also know that survey ships will give more points than interceptors or better ship okay so if you're farming reputation just go after the surveys okay they give the most points okay this okay now 36 36 when compare these two interceptor versus survey okay interceptor click on it how much points are giving 360 from an interceptor compared to a survey which is giving you twice the amount 720 so it's better to hit one survey than to spend twice the amount of time hitting you know interceptors okay so get what i mean now i got to get out of here because i want to show you something else okay i'll bring you to a map that i like a lot karaya karaya because this thing is triggered karaya okay i just click here set cost okay and while we are doing that we will look at the other areas as well okay so kind of message we have covered reputation we have covered okay dailies we have covered as well so yeah complete your dailies every day and uh when you unlock more items on your fashion store okay try not to spend your credits because not everything is worth buying here and not every ship is also worth buying okay i've actually talked about you know Antares, should you get it or not? I've actually, actually touched this in my previous video, the one that's on mining. Okay, but if you were to spend your credits on anything, okay, you should spend it for now only on recruit recruit tokens. Okay, buy these. Okay, because it will help you to max out your officers much faster. Okay, talking of which, uh, if you are thinking of you know which faction should you go first okay i would strongly recommend to go first with federation okay simply because federation has the uh easiest set or you know the, the best set of uh officers for start okay uh let me show you where uh so with those recruits you'll be getting credits on here federation recruit okay it all gets stopped out here we, you'll be getting this okay and you should know that morale crew okay the famous morale crew you have Kirk, your spot unit bones okay these three main officers okay if you see that you know it is at 116 on 100 it's good to be promoted again okay how i got this not through cracking packs but through all these which I've gotten it for free over time from the faction store so I'll suggest you to start with Federation first now good I was just trying to gather my thoughts okay the other way you can farm or get you know uh, Federation or reputations is when you start to become biased towards a faction you will have additional events to soft or to complete okay so if you go to events go to daily events click on this and you'll see these two okay because i'm dual faction right now okay federation is my main formula is my second so these are the uh two things whereby if you were to complete all of them okay they'll give you reputations as well and you see if you add all this up uh if i will complete this you'll give me 81k okay and we also give you yeah credits as well okay so do not worry how much uh repetition is 
it's gonna offset on the other factions okay it will even itself out eventually okay so but complete this you'll be better off okay so you have this to complete you have your dailies to complete and then you have farming to get done okay to help you to achieve the amount of repetition that you need to buy the ship that you want okay so for me again shout out to three blind mice he was the one who actually guided me this through and also to Reverend Deuce as well uh, thanks to his videos as well that you know he highlighted that the best ship that you should aim for in the Federation store would be the Saladin okay so get a Sally first once you have gotten it then you start collecting for the Enterprise which is the best ship of its class okay grade 3 level 34 yeah it's the best ship among the, the three other factions okay now Sally has arrived at Karaya okay now this is a much lower uh, system okay uh, before we proceed let's send the cockroach to target map so I press T press Y press A press S there you go okay press one to kit okay now if you notice this map will be full of level 33s 32s and 34s okay so there's a level 34 hostile chasing after me okay but that doesn't matter now if this is what i'm doing okay now I, i'm not saying that this is the best way to approach reputation farming but this is what I'm doing and it's very effective and if you look at my progress uh, even three blind mice uh, said this I'm insane I'm moving at a very fast rate that uh, veterans or whales in general do not move in such a manner because uh, my fashion points for Federation now you can buy credits but you cannot buy points using money okay it's at almost 7.3 mil okay and how long have i been playing just look at this 38 days okay these are my loyalty badge which i get one for each day uh when i complete my you know my set of stuff okay so yeah 38 days i spent in sdfc and yeah i'm already at 7.2 so i'm actually i've planned actually to get the enterprise on valentine's day and i hope that i'll be able to get it uh the reputation is sorted out but i'm not sure how i would sort the credits because credits i only have close to 40k i need 180k so which means that if you feel like you want to help me do let me know okay now level 34 survey each of them they give 462 not too shabby compared to a level 35 right or was it 36 36 580 120 difference okay which is not a lot and if i were to attack this level 34 look what it does to me okay i'll put the mouse cursor here uh, i'm not sure whether you can see this but once the battle is over it should not deal so much of a dent to my hull see that okay now i can keep on doing this for a very long time and i'm able to clock around one and a half to two hours on karaya alone just farming and once i'm done i'll be leaving the system with about close to 80 to 100k if i'm mistaken points okay procession of two hours okay you can do that now 32 which is also not too shabby 284 okay killing three of these ships quickly without damage done much to my hull would be better in a sense because uh i can farm these non-stop without waiting for my shields to regenerate you get what i mean okay and uh of course someone can say this or might put this command of course able you're not using the right crew now there's reason why i'm using this crew in particular and i'm gonna share with you okay there are two things that uh rather one and a half things that i wasn't aware of okay and if you were to click on your ship you will notice these two stats as well okay 
the impulse speed and the warp speed. Okay, most of the time we look at the warp range because the further we go, the better it is. Impulse speed, on the other hand, is how fast you get to move inside the system. The system, which means that this is a system. This whole map, okay, is a system. How fast you move from one point to another? That's impulse speed. Warp speed is how much or how fast you move from one system to another system. Okay, uh, okay, uh, I try to explain this so I won't confuse you. Impulse deals with what's inside here. Warp deals with what's going between Karaya and Fossetti. How fast it gets from Karaya to Fossetti. That is warp speed. Okay, now, uh, because we are farming hostile, so for me, I would focus more on the impulse speed so that once I've, I'm done killing one target, I can move to the next target almost immediately. You see, like while, while I'm attacking this, I can select the next target ready and I wait for the button to light up and I just press on S or Control. Same thing, so Sally is making his way to the target. I have the next target selected and once it lights up, I would press S or Control. Now, this gives me a rather not so boring approach to farming and i hope that you know you'll find this useful as well because if you're doing this uh you would not have to wait for your shields to regenerate which is very boring and it wastes time and yeah because you're doing nothing rather than on the go so yeah you might feel bored faster right mm. so this is why i'm using kuron as my captain rather than uhura which reduces damage i mean uh i'm not sure whether you have watched uh the video on hostile crew by raven deuce uh, if you haven't go watch it okay because he explains why the hostile crew is the best fitted for hostile grinding okay uh yeah it's all there so do check it out okay just go on youtube just type raven rev use d-e-u-c-e -E, okay and you see many videos that he has made and talks about sdfc as well so yeah i'll go with kuran because it moves very fast from one hostile to another and before i know it one hour and a half is up and yeah i will have gained a good amount of repetition points from all these hostiles as well now uh, remember the assumption that you know killing harder mobs would give you better drops compared to now if you can assume that it is also not wrong to assume that if you kill lower level mobs for example level 32 it should be very easy compared to normal like what we saw just now so now the mob has decreased in its difficulty level that should also mean or equate to your drop rate or your rarity of items should drop as well okay or you know you get lesser drops or items per run now per run of one and a half to two hours normally i'll go back and harvest or go back to the station and harvest like around 97 each to 100 boxes okay and now in this video i've already gotten five which is not too bad i just to show to you that I'm not sure whether it affects or not, but to me it doesn't. So I will uh, I will just open all the five and yeah, this is it. Okay, so it's not too bad. I, I still get a blueprint out of it. Okay, and I've gotten uh other blueprints as well. I've gotten lots of horizons. If you have watched my video on mining, the previous video on mining, you will know that I have five horizons made and if you look at ship okay now on this map alone i farmed this kira da -da, baklas da -da -da, kumari okay all these were from karaya okay and then horizon i can build almost another two horizons okay farm on this map so the drop i would say is not too bad and i don't think it it is affected much if you were to farm mobs that are low level but of course what will affect your rate would be the 
repetition points that you're getting, which I have also shown you is not that bad because you got to weigh it, okay? Uh, whether you want to spend money on repairs or on travel time, you know, from home base to Karaya, or do you want to stay as long as possible and kill as much as possible mobs before you headed home? Now, talking of which, uh, I used to play, or I focus much more on MMORPG as my choice of games. Uh, MMORPG, okay? Now, this is the first time that I'm playing a game like this, and uh, it is easily, it's quite easy for me to assume that if I were to die in the battle, I lose EXP, experience points. It's normal for me to think that. Now, in STFC, you will not lose points, okay? And neither would you lose your loots as well, okay? All these you have gathered, you will not lose an inch of it, okay? But rather, it gets unloaded onto your station, even if you die, okay? So what you do is, you farm until it goes all the way down, no more, and you die. You lose nothing. In fact, you save much more time getting back to base and whatnot. So, yeah. So, my crew is this, okay? I can't really show you here because I cannot trigger this. Yeah, it's locked, okay? So, I have Chen, I have Talan, I have Kuron. Kuron, because of the impulse speed, maybe I can show you this. I'll let my Sally be sort by ship. Okay, so on A, okay, A is Sally. On the upper bridge you saw just now would be Talan, Chen, and Kuron. Kuron's ability is this Mercedes Pursue. After this one, ship 25%. Okay, and there is also another officer that gives you that boost, which is Kla. If you don't have Kuron, you can use Kla instead. Kla, okay. Kla does this too, hot pursuit, but you need to make him a captain in order to use it. 25% impulse speed, okay. How fast your ship moves in a map impulse speed, okay. But if you will want your ship to move faster from your base to the map, okay, you can look at Stamets, the Origins version. No time to waste. Increases the warp speed of the ship by 34%. Okay, you can use him if you want to. Okay, but of course I would not recommend this unless you are using him on a miner. Yeah, on your miner, especially if you are mining into deep space. Okay, you need to travel a distance. Okay, you will, it is better, I would suggest, you to use officers that helps to boost the or lessen the travel time from A to B so they won't waste so much time you know getting there that kind of thing so yeah I guess that's it 